Welcome to the channel everybody. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now it's been a few weeks since I released my last video, so I really appreciate you clicking on this one. In today's video, I'm gonna give you my five top hacks or tips and tricks that I use all the time. So let's run the intro. Okay, so like I say in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five hacks or tips and tricks that really help me improve my photography and filmmaking. And we're gonna start straight away with the first one. So let's jump into it. Okay, the first one is called the free harness. So how do you carry your camera? Do you have it in your rucksack? Do you have it strapped around your neck? Maybe you just hold it in your hand? Well, this method is simply superb. I use it all the time and it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it is right now. Now, most rucksacks come with these little D-rings on their straps. Uh, if they don't, sometimes they, they'll have a strap there anyway. And what you do, all you do is attach a carabine. This one was about five pound off Amazon to the D-ring or the strap. And yeah, we're gonna make use of this in a second. So what you do, you tie a little bit of paracord around your camera. Now I've got it attached to my cage here, but you can easily attach this to where your uh, neck strap attaches to your camera. And with a bit of paracord attached to your camera, all you do, you attach it to the carabine on your uh, rucksack, just like so. You then got an easy way to carry the camera, the weight's being taken by the shoulder, and it's a lot easier to use than a neck strap. So not only can you attach your camera to these straps, you can also attach other equipment like your tripod, just like so. And you can also attach a gimbal and then it takes the weight off your hand. Let me show you that right now. So if you ever do use a gimbal, you know how much it starts hurting your arms after even a few minutes. But with this attachment with a carabine attached to your strap, using the gimbal, it takes all the weight off your arms and through your shoulders, making it a lot more bearable. I've used a gimbal like this for over half hour, letting the rucksack take the weight of it and it's a lot more easy on your arms. So a great little hack there. That's my first hack. Let's jump on to the second one. The second hack I'm gonna show you or tip and trick is the monopod from a tripod. It's amazing how many people don't use this. Uh, all you're gonna do, you're gonna attach your camera to your tripod and then instead of opening up all three legs on your tripod, you basically open up only one. This way, you've got yourself a monopod. Now going back to hack number one, you can then attach the monopod to your rucksack and then you get more stable base and you can film nice and smoothly like so. So that's hack number two. Instead of using your tripod with all three legs, use it as a monopod, just extend one leg and you've got wicked movement for your videos. Okay, hack number three or tip number three is if you're considering buying a new lens, the first thing you should buy is a step-up ring. Uh, I go to 72 mil. Now what a step-up uh, ring does, it changes the diameter of the uh, outside of the lens to a set size. In this case, I am going from a 52 mil diameter up to a 72 mil diameter. And I'm gonna show you why right now. So what this means is all my lenses now have an outer diameter of 72 mil. And what that means is I can buy one 72 mil filter, it can either be a variable ND, an ND, polarizer, and that one filter now fits on all my lenses. But that's not the hack. The hack is, if you go on Amazon for five or six pound, you can buy a pack of five lens caps, each 72 mil, and one lens cap now can fit on each of the lenses. So I'm not rummaging around in my bag looking for specific lens caps for each lens. One lens cap fits all, and it's a lot more simpler and time saving, so you get more time for filmmaking or photography. So hack number four is called the clean pocket. 
And what is the clean pocket? This is one of the simplest and anybody can do this. If you use any kind of filter on your camera, now I know what a pain it is to keep getting it out your bag, back on the camera, putting it away again. It's a real nightmare. So what I do, I keep one clean pocket on me at all times. Nothing goes in that pocket at all, apart from the filter. So when I'm ready to take the filter off, I take the filter off quite simply and it goes in my clean pocket. And then because nothing ever goes in that pocket apart from my one filter, I know there's no dirt in there, no crumbs, nothing like that. And the filter is gonna be protected. Sometimes what I do also is carry the uh, cleaning cloth in that, that uh, pocket also. But that's the reason you have a clean pocket. Nothing else goes in there apart from the filter and you pull it back out again, put the filter back on really quickly and you're ready to go. Okay, on to the final hack. And this one's one of my favorites again. Now I know what it's like, your arms are feeling good because you've been attaching your camera now to your rucksack. You've been using the monopod. You've got your clean pocket for the filter and all your lens caps fit. And all of a sudden it starts to rain and now you're knackered. So it's beginning to rain. You're gonna take your award-winning shot, but you don't wanna leave the camera out. Well, this is where this comes in. This is very simply, a carrier bag, but not just any carrier bag. It's a carrier bag with a hole in it. And all you're gonna do, you slip it over your camera, like so, get your elastic band, pull it over your lens, and wham, bam, thank you ma'am, your camera's dry, and now you can get your award-winning shot. There we go my fifth and final hack. So there you have it, five really cheap, easy hacks for you. They're either time saving or money saving and can really improve your photography and all your filmmaking. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like down there. And if you wanna see further videos from myself, hit that subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We'll catch up in the next video. Thanks for watching.